Hinge Pipe, being of sound mind and body, presents You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, the ends justify the means. Hey, Cookie here. I'm going to ask you some questions and, heck, I don't know, maybe fall in love? I salute you, solo adventurer, setting out alone into the digital unknown. Okay, let's see what happens. Start the game. Time for question one. First, the fault in our star charts. I'm a staunch believer in science, which is why I only get tarot card readings from physics professors. Which of these psychic predictions does not include one of the four fundamental forces of physics? Beware the gravity of new response. Okay, what'd you pick? Electromagnetism is the fourth fundamental force of the universe, not heat. My magic eight ball is saying the future is infinite. Oh wait, no, I'm just looking at the eight sideways. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Here's one I like to call Holly Wanna Clap Back. Hey, could you help me finish this tweet? Me. Sure, I'm polydactyl, but I don't let that define me. Also, me. A pic of me flipping you off with my extra middle finger. An audiogram of me telling you to screw off in five languages. A gif of me kissing my multiple lovers. I love this part. Polydactyly is a condition where someone has additional digits on their hands or feet. Thanks for the help. When it comes to social media, I'm so frowny face heart emoji rocket ship. Why do we do it with free? Next up, you chad me at hello. And it's time for a dis or dat. I'm going to read seven things. For each, I want you to tell me if it's the name of the leading male on The Bachelor or a brand of literal beef sticks. Don't think too hard. I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between The Bachelor or beef stick. All set? Here we go. Jack Lynx. Ben Higgin. Armor Ekron. Jake Pava Lorenzo Borghese Eddie Pat Matt Grant Hey, let's hear it for lucky guesses. Let's get on with it, shall we? Behold, winner, winner, chicken, dancer. Say I want to tell someone to take the Greek L. What shape should I make on my forehead while dancing around like a doof? A sideways W, an upside down V, a backwards three, or a lopsided triangle? So what'd you pick? You can't see it, but I'm stomping around and kicking my legs in the air. Aren't you humiliated? Now pay attention. The Greek equivalent of L, lambda, is represented by an upside down V shape. The ancient Greeks actually had a fun victory dance of their own. They would take their conquered foes, stick them inside a hollow bronze bull statue placed over a bonfire until they were slowly baked alive from within. Hilarious. Oh, here's a good one. The blankest question of all. Which of these titles has the most adjectives? Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street, Pretty Little Liars, It's Always Sunny and Phil. Let's see how that shook out. This title has two adjectives, pretty and little, because they describe the plural noun liars. All the others have one at the most. If I ended this question with an adjective, it would be perfect. Round one is history. You are taking the lead and are somehow also in last place. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled, in case you care about things like that. Okay, buckle in. 
Six trombones is not a parade. This one's called... I've been screaming at equine zombies and I'm hoarse. What would be an appropriate title for a show about zombie horses that don't quite go full speed when trying to kill you? The Walking Dead, The Cantering Dead, The Trotting Dead, or... Okay, what'd you pick? A canter is just below a gallop, making it the second fastest gait of a horse. This way you can ride a horse and eat a cowboy at the same time. Hey, Preston! We'd like to offer you a chance to gain some content while also losing some other content. Would you like an easy question or a hard question? Select your selection. You have engaged with the process. Las Bears de Moi. Set. I call this one a hard question. Oh, wait, I think there's been a typo. Which sandwich do they serve at Hardee's? The hard burger, the thick burger, the wide burger, or the flaccid burger? Hope you like what you picked. In theory, you could go into a Hardee's and order a thick burger. In theory. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. Coming up, Charles Duckins. How would you expect a DuckTales of two cities to end? Louis gets beheaded pretending to be Dewey. And how'd we do? The Charles Dickens classic, A Tale of Two Cities, ends with the hero switching places with someone he looks like at the guillotine. Take a good look at how to best enjoy your binge pipe experience. Oh, I hate myself for reading that. Binge Pipe recommends. Because you enjoy kid-friendly PG movies, we thought your whole family would enjoy Gerald's Game, Child's Play. Okay, let's take a look. Pete's Dragon is the only option here that is rated PG. I accidentally ordered Pete's Hard-On at a hotel. Very different movie. There is no hiding from booty pebbles. Hey, what's in your butt? The occipital muscle, the piriformis muscle, the teres major muscle, or the zygomatic muscle? I love this part. The piriformis muscle is located deep in the buttocks. How deep? About as deep as that Admiral Akbar action figure you accidentally sat on in middle school. Oh, was I talking? Silly me. Here's your clue. Do not eat that. Choose the foods you should avoid for each situation. Good luck.
there you have it. Technically, this is a victory. Next time, try asking your mom to play with you. Or my mom. Anything to get her out of the house. You don't